So. This is loud. I got the notification. This. <laughs> is now starting. I'm so excited. And I need more Primo gems. So let's go. <laughs> Correct. There's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. Oh. A designated commission? Sounds like it must be pretty important. Uh, what kind of task is it exactly? <laughs> yeah, considering all the weird ones we have in the past. <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The Magnificent Iridori Festival. Yeah, that's what it's called. I keep wanting to call it Ita Dori after a certain little precious beam in an anime. Um, so yeah, that, I am so sorry if I say Ita Dori instead of Iridori. Oh, I was like, what do you mean a festival for a while? The I Yashiro actually, Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your help is none other than Lady Yai herself. Oh, so it's Miko's commission. <laughs> you know Miko! She always has some unusual ideas in her head. You can bet a festival plan by her is gonna be one to remember! Oh yeah. We better go to Grand Narukami Shrine and see what she needs us to do! Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House in Hanamizaka, so there is no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Oh, okay. well that's convenient enough. Let's go then! Yeah, just let me switch out my party. <laughs> I love this the feature that they added to mobile. So now I don't have to go through the, the menu to switch out my party. Oh, let's see. Um, we'll use... Who else is going to be here? Is it Klee? <laughs> oh yeah, I lost my 50-50 to Kuchi on um, Ayato's banner and I'm so sad. Chivalry will never die. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sad. At the same, I was so happy and disappointed at the same time because I was like, "Oh, it's that. It's not Jean or Chi Chi. Yay! It's Kaching." But then I realized it's Kaching. No. <laughs> and then I was like, I knew I should have skipped right in some banner for Ayato. Time to go. Or at least in Yae. But oh well. Aratani and Kuroda, how are things coming along? All the books and commission prints for Yai Publishing House were bound and sent out yesterday afternoon, Lady Yai. Very good. And Murata? We have already received word from Apex Husu and Sailing Breeze that the materials are all in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn as Raiden with Unlimited Power and Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. What are these titles? Hmm, well done. And what about you, Onodera? Uh, doesn't look like he got it done. <sighs> yep. Onodera? Oh, uh, yes, Lady Yai. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. Laya. You are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. Besides, there's no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. I shall specially grant you leave for the next couple of days, Onodera. Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. All right then. Is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop chop! Hmm. <laughs> Ah, hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Yes, ma'am. Some organizer you are! It's nearly time for the festival and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami Shrine? 
<laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> what did Colleen do? <laughs> How did she manage to make it sound so gruddle? <laughs> Yeah, forget it. My, my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. But as you can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival. Yet you say I'm not doing my job. Oh, how is that? Let me ask you, little ones. Whoever said that the festival must involve the Grand Narukami Shrine? Huh? But isn't that a given? This is Inazuma after all. Yes, that is true. But now that the Sokoku Decree has been lifted, Inazuma is no longer the same nation that once resisted change tooth and nail. Therefore, rather than sticking to the same old traditional festival, the Yashiro Commission and I have decided to shake things up a little. This time, we'll be holding an international cultural festival, distinctly Inazuman, but with a unique twist. International cultural festival? <laughs> I suppose I should start by telling you the origins of the Iridori Festival. Cutting time! <clears throat> Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the Shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Thanks to them, Inazuma's culture blossomed and gained great influence at that time. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the Five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in culture. And poetry. <laughs> Indeed. To describe it in the words of the ancients, it'd be refined elegance. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kasan and the festival. Which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by... holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Because she has the... She, mm, she's a businesswoman. But, wait a minute. Light novels? What about all that refined elegance stuff you just said? Please stop looking at me with those baffled expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage. But nowadays, the entertainment format of choice is light novels. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Speaking of which... Don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? How so? <laughs> and besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all Tavat through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. Sounds like a whole lot of thinly veiled self-justifications. Whoa, that was close! Paimon was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue. Of course. Come on, Miko! You can't fool us. We know you by now. This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest. Exactly. <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? Mm. Uh, maybe a little. Oh, all right, Paimon's super curious now. Of course. <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. Ooh, yay. There we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. Oh, please be Ayato. <laughs> please be Ayato. I have not seen enough of this man. <laughs> A little special somebody? Who could it be? I wonder who it is. 
Please tell me. During the Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition space for light novels. Mm. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan-created work on display, there will also be exclusive giveaways, prizes, and new release parties. This small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kassen Plaza during the festival, and nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Mm, thank you for the tip. I will probably see if they have any new ones. Or not light novels, but books in the game. Wow. Um, how'd you Paimon put this? Uh, it's definitely not your typical festival, but it sure looks like it'll be quite the party. Yeah, it's like a light novel paradise. Ah, Lady I did mention that there would be some reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. Yay! <laughs> okay. At last we meet again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring recently? Pretty good, not considering that I just, you know, did your story quest like a week ago, so... Well, he is in charge, I bet. Preparing festivals falls under the Yashiro Commission's mm -hmm. scope of responsibilities. Seeing as Lady Yai has poured her heart and soul into the preparations, I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. Yep, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Come now, Ayato. We're not strangers here. There's no need to sound so formal. Mm. We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Oh, please, I love to hear his voice more. <laughs> Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for painting their portraits. Mm. This Iridori Festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku Decree, it is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Yashiro Commission has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. For example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. Albedo? The Yashiro Commission will arrange accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable. Mm. Which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tevat to serve as a guide for our guests. I get it now. So this is our commission. I knew you would catch on. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guests from the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association, while providing any necessary assistance along the way. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated times. Two days before the festival, ships and guests, large passenger ships, bards from Mondstadt, a guest painter, Calix, and his dependent. Estimated time of arrival, 8 a.m. Oh, great. I got a... <laughs> Second day of the festival, ships and guests, large passenger ship, calligraphers, painters from Miwe, theater mechanicus players, and a guest writer, Zhen... Zhen <gasps> Is that, uh, Shincho? Estimated time of arrival, 10 a.m. Third day of the festival, ships and guests, large cargo ships, stop over one person, estimated time, 9 a.m. Uh, the day following the release event, ships and guests, all small passenger ship, two persons, estimated time of arrival, 10 a.m. I know Kali is supposed to be on one of these ships. Please tell me she did not just, like, up and leave. Hmm, it's settled then. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, so I must be going now. Bye. During the festival, most of the Yai Publishing House's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. If you run into any problems, you may find them there. Okay. This festival requires the full cooperation of the Tri Commission, and there are still many minor details which require my attention, so I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests in your hands. Just leave it to me. Oh, yeah. Hi, he tells me need about 
the ships are on the timetable that Ayato gave us. Wait until the following day. Let's take a closer look and be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on it. No, I did. I gotta wait till six to eight. So we're gonna skip time. We're gonna skip the time. It did a little jingle. According to the arrival schedule, there will be a ship arriving from Mondstadt today. The artist for the five Kassim portraits should be on board. The boat should be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks. Yes, that's right. Ooh. We are bards from Mondstadt. Word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find fresh inspiration here. Uh, Paimon, what are you doing? These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tonga's bard then? Um. Huh. Strange. He's pretty famous in Mondstadt. Do you think he didn't receive an invitation? Even if he was invited, there's a chance he still wouldn't show up. Huh? Why is that? Well, you know, Venti's and... Oh, Paimon sees what you're getting at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mondstadt, he's still an Archon. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, <gasps> not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him too. Klee, what are you doing here? Miss Honorary Knight, Paimon! Oh no! It's Were you also invited <laughs> to the Iridori Festival? She snuck away, I bet. <laughs> no, Albedo's the one who received the invitation. Albedo, hi! It's been so long, my dear. <laughs> but because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. Ah. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, I predicted that I might run into you here. Oh, you did. Ha! Paimon knew it! Albedo's the one they've invited to paint the five coffin! Of course, this dude is an amazing painter. It seems that you already know why I'm here. Just so you're aware. I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma. Calx. Calx. Ah, I say Calix. Why did I say Calix? Calx. Oh, by the way, do you know where the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Yai Publishing House there. Yeah, the International Trade Association is where you'll be staying in Inazuma. We'll be heading there too. Great. Well, let's get going then. Kui, please stay next to your brother. <laughs> We don't want to go boom boom back <laughs> in Inazuma. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful here. So many things I've never seen before. <laughs> Slow down, Klee. Please, please be careful not to bump into others. Please, please, Klee, do not run around. You're making me nervous. <sighs> Telling Klee so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best idea. See, here it sounds so more human. It's funny. As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. That's how kids are. There's nothing wrong with a little excitement. Strange. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. This might be a problem. What's wrong? Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five Kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? I only know of the five Kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So Mr. Hirayama decided to help me collect some more information. Oh, I see. I'm the type of painter who can complete a painting quickly, as long as I'm inspired. So, I agreed on only receiving the details today. So when do the paintings have to be done by? 
According to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Irodori Festival. The first one, depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, which is the day after tomorrow. Mm. The day after tomorrow? And you're already running out of time! There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are shipped by boat, things were always tight and finished at the last minute. Stress, dude, stress. I know you're not, like, completely, you're not really human, but, like, dude, still. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the manuscript. Oh my goodness, I cannot imagine. I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Sympathetic for your working conditions or compliment you on your artistic genius. Yeah. Of course, I would still prefer to receive any possible reference materials in advance so that I can be better prepared. Speaking of which, Miko did mention. Oh, right! The editors of the Yai Publishing House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there too! We'll take you over there to see if we can find him, Albedo. Please, like, just hopping up and down in the background. <laughs> I love her so much. Alright, it's worth a try. <clears throat> Klee, you haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Like she's gonna listen to you. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. We all know that's a lie. Stop, Klee. <laughs> I love you dearly, but like, come on. Hang on, I want to see if this. Let me, let me, let me see. Oh, these are cute. Uh, is this? Oh, this is supposed to be Raiden. The doll, the the porcelain Raiden dolls are cute. This can't be happening. The moment we need to contact Onadera is when he's on special leave. Oh, man. <sighs> Kuroda and I will go back to Inazuma City for an emergency printing run. The demand for this book is so high, though. Even with the emergency prints, it still might not be enough. What Despite book? everything, we're still lucky that we found out today. If this had happened a few days later, then we'd really be in boiling water. Ugh. Hey. Do you think that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? Uh, suspicious? Well, the editorial director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing. Just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Um, uh, Mr. Hiriyama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five Kassen for the festival? Yes. Yes, that's me. My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding the five Kassen. Yeah. I do apologize, but please make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Oh, no need. You guys look super busy, so we can go find him ourselves. Uh, well, uh, about that. Uh, what? What are you hiding? Uh, excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legend of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hiroyama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, you were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hiroyama directly. Yeah, what's going After on? considering these factors, the only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Well, uh... Uh, I'm very sorry. The situation is just as you said, Calx. I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you now. 
Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. So they promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. And? The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. Oh no! What? The books are missing? Shh, not so loud. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Jin Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. Because of the dire situation, Mr. Hirayama immediately hurried to the warehouse to determine whether the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. I see. It would be a great misfortune if A Legend of Sword would not be released on schedule. And quite a disappointment for Chen Yu as well. If Mr. Hirayama has gone to the warehouse at the docks, then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. So the author of A Legend of Sword is Chen Yu. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Shinkyo's been named? Yes. Oh. Do you know him? We've met on a couple of occasions. Shinkyo would definitely be upset if he discovers his books are missing. Oh, let's accompany Albedo to the warehouse, too. Okay. Um, wow, this place really decked out. Warehouse. Oh, that's not the part. It's around the corner. Venti! What are you doing? I didn't see Sarah, I'm sorry. You're in trouble, mister. Huh? It's you! Why are you here? I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? She wasn't surprised about you, it's about Vendi. No, Sara, Paimon wasn't talking about you! So, Tone Deaf Bard, the suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is indeed me. <laughs> I would have done it if he didn't have anything after to say, but <laughs> I couldn't help myself. As I have told you, you are a suspect. Before your allegations of theft and illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared, you are to remain silent. Don't make me say it again. Oh, come on, Tara. Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt? Well, I can't say he's a complete stranger, but you could say we're quite familiar. Uh, listen, Tara, knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Although he claims to be a special guest for the Iridori Festival, He's failed to present his invitation letter. Therefore, we can only suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. Venti? And just a moment ago, we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the sailing breeze. Could we ask him a few questions? If it would help shed any light on the situation, then please, be my guest. Oh, Venti! You didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me. We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. <sighs> <laughs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Oh, that depends. Similar means? Uh, let's not bring up the past now. <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not. For the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kamisato Ayato of Yashiro Commission. It's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally, right? Dude, don't push it. But why weren't you on the same ship as the other birds? Yeah. Well, once I received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. So, naturally, I decided to set sail with them. Venti, you and your drinking. 
Once aboard, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuman sake. <laughs> and when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse with a Tenryo Commission General glaring at me from atop the grate. Well, you did... <laughs> that face. You did... <laughs> I can't right now. Oh, Venti, you had one job! <sighs> Coming from Venti, this story is quite believable. But it still feels a bit... Shameless. Excuse me, I'm the owner of the stolen goods from the AI Publishing House, and there are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Mm hmm? But if you clearly heard something, why didn't you feel it was unusual? Oh, I seem to understand now. Mm -hmm. Huh? What did you notice, Albedo? Yeah. When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. Mm. As for the sound of footsteps, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. True. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. Oh. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... There must be more than one criminal involved. I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person couldn't possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. Yes, I agree with your reasoning. Oh my goodness. Kindred spirits? Really? Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. If you come across any further clues, please notify us immediately. I bet it was just some fan wanting to get the copy first before anybody else. Yes, understood. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird then. Oh wait. Not so fast. <laughs> Even though we've cleared the theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off the hook. No, Venti! Sarah is quite the meticulous one. So, where's your invitation letter, Venti? Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Venti. <laughs> Dude. Uh, how could you lose something so important? <laughs> Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. Venti, that's not how this works. Strange. Though I had a little too much to drink. I know that I kept it in a secure place. I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. A little too much to drink, huh? If you were holding the invitation in your hand the whole time, then why did you put it down? <laughs> Colleen did great with Paimon uh, this time. Well, to properly compare the taste of Mondstadt wine and Inazuman sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. Alright, everybody, do the forehead slap with me. This is so. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's. Sh Why am I laughing so? <laughs> 
I couldn't oh both hold the invitation and a glass at the same time. Sure you can. But surely I wouldn't put it in just any random place. It could easily be misplaced. Ah, <sighs> In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, Traveler? On the table? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're way ahead of Paimon. Do you two already know where the invitation letter is? Oh. <laughs> and his hat? Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember now. I knew you'd help me find it. Uh oh, I was thinking a yes. Hmm. This is indeed an invitation letter issued by the Yashiro Commission. Now that we've confirmed this guest's identity, I have no further questions. Okay. However, starting tonight, I would advise you to stay at the International Trade Association. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. Bye. There goes Sara. All right. Let's go talk to Mr. Hirayama about Albedo's reference materials. Mr. Hirayama, I'm Calx. We had originally arranged to meet today. Ah, yes, so you are Calx. <laughs> I'm very sorry that you've arrived in Inazuma only to find such a mess. These are the materials regarding the five Kasen. All the information that we could find is compiled here. About the five Kasen. Long ago, there were five legendary poets in Inazuma. Supremely gifted in music and writing, they were honored as the Five Kasen, meaning five fairies of singing and poetry. Ah. It is said that the Shogun loved their works profoundly, that every year one of them would go to Tenshukaku and, pre and present their new poetry collection for the Shogun's per, per usual. Uh, the Five Kasen are known as Suiko, Aoi no, no Okina, Akahito, Su Sumi Zome and Kuronushi, respectively. But their real names were lost in history. According to a widely accepted theory, tales of the five Kasen had once had once been repeatedly adapted and performed on stage, with the five characters each dressed in a distinct color. Green, blue, red, white, and black. Over time, theater goers started to refer started referring to them by these colors, hence the names we see today. Still, there's there exists another theory. Other theories, for instance, some believe Suiko was named after his dwelling, a thatched cottage called Suiko Hut. Uh, some also say that Aka and Akahito was derived from the poet's habit of marking his works with a scarlet red seal. Ooh. Uh, everyone in Inazuma knows the tale of the five Kasen, and the stories featuring them were once all the rage in Inazuma. I can't hear. I mean, I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is unfortunate however is that despite their popularity and abundance at the time not much detail survived till this today most were probably lost during the great calamity 500 years ago yikes according to existing literature during the golden age when many such stories were being created they usually followed the same set of rules four poems in succession each telling a fragmented of a fragment of the, of the story from a Kasen point of view. With the four together completing the whole tale, it was, it was, what, blah, blah, blah. what was curious was that no single chapter seemed to be narrated from the Kuro Nishi's perspective. Oh dear. Okay, five Kasen summary. Suiko, a free sake loving soul, soul born in, into an ordinary family. Some say he got the name Suiko from Suiko Hut, at the thatched cottage she lived in. Aoi no Okina, an old man accomplished in chess. In addition to poems, he had also left behind a few novels. Some say he was actually the shogunate official who had not made a name until his senior years. Others say he was not a human, but a very old kitsune in human form. Okay, so Suiko... Might be green. Aoi translates to blue, or Ao is blue in Japanese. Akahito, and Aka means red in Japanese. A talented swordsman who most likely came from a martial family. Some say his name was derived from his habit of marking his words with a scarlet red seal. Sumizome, 
She was once a shrine maiden skilled in floral arts and dancing. Later, she became the shogun's personal attendant. Some say she resigned from her position after she became famous and devoted herself to artistic creation. Others say she kept serving the shogunate in her old age. And Kuron Nushi. Black. This one's black. Because Kuron... Or is it clone in Japanese? Kuro, I should say. Kuro translates to black in Japanese. I don't know what sume zome though. I'm learning a little Japanese. Uh, the language. Um, Kuron, Kuron, Kuron Nushi. Little is known about him, nor does anyone know who he really is. Maybe this explains the more varied versions of his identity and personality from the story to story as compared to the other four Kasen. Oh, let's see here. Yes, it's just as I had suspected. Monikers such as Suiko and Aoi no Okina aren't the real names of the five Kasen. Though there were once many stories regarding each of the five Kasen, the validity of their contents can no longer be verified in present times. Alas, what a shame. <laughs> but at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style. So there is still something we may glean from this. So... <laughs> Is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? Well, some of them actually translate to colors, so... To some extent, yes. Uh, however, I must admit that it is still lacking and, uh... fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. Oh dear. I am sorry that this information is not as exhaustive as you had hoped. However, it is not possible to gather anything more at the moment. Though, Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the Five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. Uh, please tell me we're not gonna go around and ask, um, about different versions. Excuse me. So all you need to do is follow through with what's in your own heart, and create something that you yourself find interesting. That does sound like something Miko would say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hirayama. No need to worry. I'll find inspiration for the portraits. Great. I'll leave it to you then, Calx. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Oh? Tomorrow morning, Mr. Gen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. Right. Okay. Whether the stolen books are eventually recovered or not, the Yaya Publishing House will do its best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. I get it now. Uh, you have my gratitude. I'll be going then. Well, seems there's nothing more we can do here. Let's go! Huh? Betty? What are you doing over there? You don't want us to leave you behind, do you? More like you will more than likely, uh, more than likely he'll run off and just go drink some sake. Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. Oh. Let's go see what Ven Venti's up to. Or what he found. What is it, Venti? Excuse me. A piece of paper? Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. The Five Cost and Splendor Suiko Mine dwelling was far from the wider world, but for my fame, my peace was disturbed. In blue clad, I went before Tenshukaku to present our work, but Aoi's work was missing a page. I knelt and begged for divine wrath to be stilled, and I told what I knew of, of how it was lost. The previous night I had been drunk, and then a person's shadow had passed over me. Some treacherous scoundrel must have stolen the poem, leading to my great loss of face. So are they recreating what happened to the five Kasim? Chapter. Wait a minute! Isn't Suiko the name of one of the five Kasen? The story told in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. This is... Sounds vaguely familiar! 
Ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? <laughs> Don't make me spit out my tea, man. Seriously? It's literally the same story you just experienced yesterday. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, indeed it is. Interesting, isn't it? It almost seems related to the stolen novels. Yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal, or even a witness to the theft. But why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Hmm. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. You just want a drink. Hey! You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Oh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off. Right. No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Albedo, don't give in to this dude. Wait a minute. What about your portrait? Well, I guess he still doesn't have inspiration, so... No point in trying to get into it now, right? As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. What? Venti's your source of inspiration? If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. Uh. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. Hmm. Oh dear. One year, the poet oh? Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely <laughs> recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. That was great. I didn't expect a cutscene like that, wow. though. You really came through, Albedo. You were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony. Wow, it's pretty. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it harken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Uh. Hey, don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Mm -hmm. Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? Huh? I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the five Kasen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Oh. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? Nico? If this is you, I'm... <laughs> oh, man. That certainly is a possibility. Also, uh, there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kasen that have left me rather curious. Wait a minute, didn't Onodera in the beginning, he was like, you know how he had that look, right? The, I don't know, worrisome look. And Miko was like, Onodera, did you finish or no? <laughs> Please tell me that's not what he, they were working on. For example... The reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. Yeah, who's the fifth one? <laughs> it appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuro Nushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows, they may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt, seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. Mm. So for now, we need but just wait patiently.
All right, act one complete. Oh. <gasps> That's what this is. Okay. Poet Iridori Poetry, part one. The monster at Bar Lin is, disgu is discussing poetry quite passionately with Inazuma poet Otomo. I get my primus! That is pool. I need my dear. My dear. Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> this is disappointing. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead then. Oh, okay. <sighs> Miss, I see you have been walking back and forth in this area for some time now. I believe you must be someone who appreciates the elegance of the arts. There is a question of elegance that I might need your help with. Would you mind lending me your aid? Uh, yes. That is it. Though I have only just met this man, Len, a bard from Mondstadt, over here, we have already become fast friends. Otomo speaks the truth. We have only known each other for a few days, and I already have the greatest respect for this for his great learning. <laughs> you are too kind, Lin. In any case, we have made friends through poetry, and we're taking this opportunity to write a few collaborative works. And since Lin has gone through all the efforts to come to Inazuma, he really wants to add a bit of that Inazuma flavor to his work. Indeed. Unfortunately, my itinerary has been far too tight. I haven't had time to go through to really go around and see the sights. So, what can I do for you? Friend, the theme of the poem I wish to write is nostalgia. Oh. Upon seeing the sight in a distant land, a vagabond cannot help but remember their home. That is why I need to add some things to my poem that symbolizes this distant place. Could you help me take a few pictures from which I can draw some inspiration? Inazuma should have a great number of unique sights to see, yes? For example, when you speak of Mondstadt, everyone's mind, minds will turn to dandelions or windwheel asters. Ooh, Paimon gets it now! Well, in that case, let's take a few pictures of some Inazuma regional specialties. That should do it! Indeed, I would be in your debt if I if you would allow me to also write a copy of my half done poem manuscript just for you to use as reference material as for the number of pictures that I will need I think four each ca showcasing different contents will do I will also pay any travel fees you may incur in the process well traveler since the land's request seems clear let's head out right now okay nostalgia Upon seeing the sights of the distant land, a vagabond cannot help but remember their home. It would be nice to depict some things that symbolize this distant place. Take pictures of Inazuma regional specialties to get key inspiration material. Okay. According to the poets Len and Otomo, you can take pictures of specific regions after receiving daily themes to obtain inspiration. Excuse me. The more material we obtain, the better... You can help the poets land and ultimate figure out the more po poetic stanzas, thus helping them complete their poems faster. Okay. Does that now work? This no. scenery okay. is wonderful. There's some, but I have to Surely go through the menu. to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Kaza, stop talking. I have to go through the menu to take a picture of these things. Um, here we go. Ah, uh, it's not letting me take pictures of the melon fruit. That's some. What? Okay, well, fine. Be that way. Doesn't only Kabuto count? Time to go. Oh, where's seagrass? I know that'll work. <laughs> Uh, it should be here. Yeah. 
Does it work? No! Hang on. How in the world? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back in a bit because we gotta do this. Well, we don't have people that want that. Oh, and it gives me 40 primos. We gotta do it now. <laughs> okay, read the poem. The day I took my leave of loving, I found love. I found I loved all things again. When tired at last of seeking and striving, I heard the, again freedom's refrain. Blank. And suddenly I saw twas the unseen breeze that helped me push me from home shores. <sighs> it requires a few of my brain cells to think. I don't know what the other ones are. Okay, so we have. Ah. Uh, I need a hint. <laughs> I got it. I got it. We're gonna go to the um the beach. Yeah, baby. Oh, why'd I do that? I don't need to save these photos. All right, and the last one's gonna be on Sayray Island. I say Rai, say Ray. I don't know. Yeah, this should yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and then we'll get the party primo. Hee hee hee. This requires a little bit more brain power, but it works. Well, that's the four pictures that Lynn needs. Let's go back and look for him. Okie dokie, Pat. Ah, uh, it's you. Have you finished taking those pictures? I've taken them. Wonderful. You have my things. Let me have a look. Oh my, I have never seen any of these. Ah, and this picture is wonderful. This is also some quite noteworthy. Friend, your photos are a true inspiration. Many thanks. Now I have attempted to write several different stanzas according to the pictures you provided me. I'm quite torn as to which to use. I'm quite curious, actually. If it were you, which would you use? Ooh. Oh, we actually got to choose? Okay. The day I took my leave of loving, I found I loved all things again. When tired at last of seeking and striving, I heard again freedom's refrain. Mm. The radiant flowers abroad do bloom. They're sent a novel, lovely strain. Of distant lands, joys, my heart was dissuaded. The lamp grass under distant skies gleaming. Okay, let's see. So uh, the first one seems pretty good. Um, I heard again freedom's refrain of distant lands joys my heart was dissuaded. When suddenly I saw it was the unseen breeze that helped push me from home shores. Um, when tired at last of seeking and striving, I heard again freedom's refrain. The lamp, the lamp grass under distant skies gleaming. Then suddenly I saw it was the unseen breeze that helped me push me from home shores. I'm going to go with the first one. I like the first one. Mm. Oh, there's more to it. Okay. Let me see, let me see. The day I took my leave of loving, I found I love all things again. When tired at last of seeking and striving, I heard again freedom's refrain. Of distant lands' joys, my heart was dissuaded. Not but the slim, gla the slim grass's song remained. Then suddenly I saw it was the unseen breeze that helped push me from home shores. Okay, let's try the lamp grass one. The day I took my leave of loving, I found I love all things again. When tired at last of seeking and striving, I heard again freedom's refrain. The lamp grass under distant skies gleaming, to mind the night abroad did feign. Then suddenly I saw it was the unseen breeze that helped push me from home shores. Oh man. Oh man. Yo. <laughs> I'm torn now. Okay, I like the last one and the first one more. The day I took my leave of loving, I found I love all things again. When tired at last of seeking and striving, I heard again freedom's refrain. The radiant bloom the radiant flowers abroad do bloom. There's sent a novel, lovely strain. 
Then suddenly I saw a twist the unseen breeze that helped push me from home shores. That last stanza is annoying to me. Lampgrass. What the heck is lampgrass? Is it the Gonoderma? You know what? <laughs> I don't know. Eeny meeny miny mo. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go, the, go with the lampgrass one. The emotions in these two are very strongly felt, and the atmosphere they create is quite ethereal. Um, miss, you truly have a good eye. Do I now? Well, I was just... Ugh. Ultimo, since both you and our new friend here are both very enamored of these two lines, then let us use them. Friend, thank you once again for your aid. Oh, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I'm not a fan of poetry, so... <laughs> I hope... I'm glad I could be of help. Now let me get my primal... Primal... Damn it! Thank you. Hee <laughs> Now we can pull. We're gonna pull. No, nope, we're still too short. No! <laughs> All right, this will give me more primos. We're doing this. Land of, Land my, of my birth. How's it going? I sure better. He oh, see you in this event, my dude. I'll be so disappointed if I don't. Home. What a coincidence! I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. <laughs> Miss me? Yes, indeed. <laughs> I believe Clee has missed you tremendously. I bet. I miss right. her too. As much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Clee. Oh? Before bringing Clee here, a Klee! I told her many stories about Inazuma. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. She's like Goba. <laughs> However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. Yeah, I sure. can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Dude, Koi has... Koi has done a great job. He's making Albedo sound more human in this event than I have heard in the past two that I've seen him in. That's not... I'm not including the one with the, the, the cryo regispine because I missed that event. I'm talking about the uh, Golden Archipelago. He was in that one. And then the... Um, the one with Eula and Amber and Bennett in it. Um, shadow. I missed the Shadow Storm or something. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh. Are we stuck on babysitting duty again? <laughs> Yay! Miss Honorary Knight's here! Clee! What you talking about, Miss Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Clee, are you saying you'd like to go and play? Yeah! Really busy. I can't go too far away, or he'll be worried about me. Ah, Clee, you're such a thoughtful kid. Unlike Paimon. Ah, Paimon's a very thoughtful. Thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. <laughs> a delicious slime. <laughs> well, that settles it. You're very thoughtful. Go out when she was so excited to come here. We'll look after Klee. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Let's introduce her to someone interesting. Klee, do you want to go play with Miss Honorary Knight? Yay! You bet I do! 
<laughs> He's such a good big brother. As you know, Klee is our spark knight. You must keep her safe and sound. Absolutely. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh, <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Got it. <laughs> no explosions. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. He's such a big, he's such a good big brother. There I love him. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? <laughs> you know, food and drink. Hyman just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! <laughs> Let me see what Albedo says first. Thank you for taking care of Klee. No problem. Wired lighting fires is strictly prohibited in both Rito and Inazuma during the Irodori festival. Please keep a close watch on her. Noted. Klee's already run off. You'd better catch up with her. You're right. We better go. <laughs> okay. Let's go walk around with Klee. Where are we going? Yakitore. So cute. Miss Honorary Knight, look at this noodly soup. It's so pretty. There's so many nice things inside. It's not noodly soup. It's tonkotsu ramen, actually. Oh, great. Oh, so, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? You're kidding, right? Those are tri flavored skewers. Dude, we she comes from a different nation. Give her a break. <laughs> Yellow cake. That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? <laughs> wow. Tonkotsu ramen, tri flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. I wonder. I wonder what um Kui's VA had. <laughs> I wonder if she struggled trying to say tonkotsu ramen in uh Kui's voice. <laughs> they sure are. I guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. <laughs> also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. Don't take his Mora. I'll cook them myself. Oh, I remember you. You're Yoimiya's friend. How come you know how to make egg rolls? Because I cook a lot. Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this gal. Why don't you make some for Klee and Iwo? Sure, and I'll throw in some for you too. Uh, really? Wow, Paimon is so touched. You're learning. <laughs> Yes, I do. I should. I don't know how many. Yeah, I have some. Wow, you really can cook them. You're awesome, ma'am. Thank you. Mm, it's sweet. So yummy. I remember egg roll tasting sweet. Yep, yep. It's delicious. Traveler, you are the best. Oh, I'm probably thinking of the omelette instead of the egg roll. My bad. Yeah, 
These egg rolls are pretty good, but I still think Yoimiya's are better. Uh. Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? She's a superhero. <laughs> I kinda wanna. <laughs> she runs the fireworks shop. Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. I know, I want to get her. I tried to get her, but I used my pity on Ayaka before Yoimiya and I was on accident. <laughs> The best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And he knows loads of other great people too, like Mr. Albedo, Miss Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh, surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. Yes. In most festivals, Yoimi is so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She oh dear. seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Uh. Okay, let's go play with Yoimiya. This is great. Two bubbly characters finally meeting together, and I'm like, ah. I would so have them on the same team because I have Klee, but I don't have the idea. I'm gonna jump off this. Jump. Oi, Mia. Don't be sad. Um, I. Uh... Oh, I know. Let me tell you something that'll cheer you up. Why are you sad, Oi, Mia? Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. Uh, he lost again. <laughs> wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival. But there are still lots of other fun things to do. Oh, okay. That's why she's sad. She doesn't get to <laughs> see fireworks go off. I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. Oh, don't be sad. Yoimiya, it's me! Hi there. I want to introduce you to a new friend, an Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee. My name is Klee. Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yoimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um... <laughs> Hello! So cute! I love the cute outfit! With the hat and the cool little symbols! So unique! In your backpack! Wow, it's really well made! That's <laughs> a four-leaf clover! Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck! <laughs> really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those! <laughs> also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute too! Oh dear! <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Ah, they're so cute. I'm smiling so big right now. I, I have a dopey grin. <laughs> oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Ride the wind and go up on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. <laughs> yep, my mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends. I'm sure of it. <laughs> no! The duo! <laughs> Heartwarming watching these two chat away. It is my highlight. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> hey, Klee, since you like four leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? Oh, yes, please. <gasps> yeah, and after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? No way! Albedo was pretty clear about that! 
<laughs> no explosions allowed. Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. <laughs> the folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. Mm. What? It's not allowed? But... Aww. <sighs> okay, then. <laughs> no, I don't want to see these two bubbly characters be sad. Hey, come on. You just made a new friend. This is a happy occasion. Why are you suddenly so upset? Don't be sad. Yeah, we still have loads of things we can do. Let's go check out the Iridori Festival. Right, just like Saika said. There are lots of fun things to do. What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, let's go! This is so cute! <laughs> I love them all! Here we are, the venue of the Iridori Festival! Oh, sorry, bye bye. Outlander Brigade. When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. I think that's the one that we recreated with uh, Miko. Hmm. By Kawabanga Iki. <laughs> Yonia, this is a really strange name. Kawabanga! Who's this Kawabanga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine. And When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Oh. Mm, Outlander's been great. Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Aw, oh, Queen! Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. I love, I love, I love Queen in this man. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ah. I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels. Ah! What are you talking about, cliches? This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Um, maybe not for you, Klee. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Yeah, good idea. Hey, miss, don't go. Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off. Dude, I would buy it if I didn't have Klee. <laughs> oh, I guess. Oh, they're walking around. Okay. I guess. Well then. Flowers for Princess Fischl. Oh, look. It's Fischl's story. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Klee? Um, she actually met the person. <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Todoko are always together. Hmm. I wonder if Todoko is getting bored now. Uh-oh. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Yes, Klee, no kaboom. Yarn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up. Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Hmm. Yeah, like, um... Uh... Like, writing a story. Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? Yeah, the Iridori Festival is the perfect occasion for storytelling. That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You could show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Think of it like Dodoko playing with everybody. Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Alvedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Todoko's adventure in Inazuma. Oh, this is gonna be cute. It's <laughs> very imaginative. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. Oh dear. <laughs> Yay, great! Todoko will be so happy. 
<laughs> that is gonna be Perfect. great. Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go, let's go! This is so cute, so much sugar. <laughs> oh dear. This is like the most bubbly duo I have ever seen. And they're so cute, and I love them, and I want them. I want you and me up for this reason. <laughs> The Adventures of Dodo Co. Clean and I just had a discussion and we've decided that we are going to keep the content of the story a secret from you guys for now. <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. Okay. You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Okay. Come on, Yoimiya. We should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, Paimon was hoping that we could all paint together. So unfair. We got stuff to do, Paimon. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. Hey. Yep. They're probably gonna catch us, so... <laughs> so, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm... Dodoko goes to eat tri-flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot of more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, <laughs> you and Mia. I have some more. Look! Oh, my dear. Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. <laughs> well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the traveler for ideas. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Miss Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble her. Oh, Klee. So... I should just go fish blasting to earn some more. Clee? Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. <laughs> Good job, Yoimiya. Oh. Then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Oh, dear. Who's Mr. Albedo? <laughs> He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. Oh. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodo. <laughs> That's why he came to Inazuma this time to do paintings for everyone. <laughs> the painting of Kaya is just a circle in his eye patch. <laughs> oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, <laughs> teaching sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. <laughs> Wait, Mia, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Oh, Klee. Wow, I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh, mm hmm. Shoot, I might didn't hear the last part. <laughs> this is Don't so cute. You sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. This is adorable. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. <laughs> Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Eye Publishing House. Okay. I kind of thought we were just going to wander around for a bit while they were doing that, but that was cute. This is cute. It's too cute. Ah. Here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. <laughs> auntie? Who's that calling me Auntie? 
Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Oh, that was so cute! <laughs> Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! <laughs> so cute. Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you explain Dodoko's identity in Kui in Yoimiya's Wish to Aratani. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but... I'm sorry. Oh no! The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, that hurts. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little girl. Oh, this hurts. Please, don't be upset. You still have me and the traveler. We'll think of something. Yeah, we'll find a way. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. Mm. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't. No, I won't let that happen. I'm with you, girl. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Klee to feel the same way. Oh! <laughs> if we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. Oh dear. You're Mia. My, my. You're Mia is quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. Oh dear. No, they do a bit. It's Miko, and Alvedo too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady I. It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Oh my goodness, my heart is going out to Klee and Yoimiya in this instant, and it's... Ah! <laughs> Let me think. Oh, I know. Huh? Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Oh? Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. I mean... I mean... Um... You act like it sometimes. <laughs> All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. Oh. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Oh, I see. You can- Hey, y'all can reduce it down to like a tiny chapter. That'd be great. Hey, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yep, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! Oh! Oh! My heart! <laughs> What an adorable little girl. Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it.
combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. She just wants the good story out of this. <laughs> no problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Arr! Besides, ah! the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. Mm? Oh, mm, mm. All right. I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye bye now. Mm. Bye. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yui Mia, traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> you should spend some time with Klee too, Alberto. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Yep. Okay, we gotta wait. I'm going to skip! Oh, we're gonna go see the books. Ooh, I hope we get to see... Or read the story. This is gonna be cute. Look, Miss Honorary Knight! Auntie Aratani brought us Todoko's story! Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. <laughs> oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Todoko and me. Aww. And me. Aww. And you guys. Oh! <laughs> you put me in the story? You put me and Paimon in the story? <laughs> oh, I gotta read this. All Todokos must someday ride the wind and the waves and go on an adventure. My gentle and beautiful mother once said that. Oh! Klee! <laughs> and just as she had predicted, our Dodoko was so happy when his best friend Klee said that she was going to the nation of lightning for an adventure. Of course, Dodoko loves eating delicious food with Klee at Good Hunter and loves listening to the bard sing. But Dodoko loves counting the stars in the sky and twisting flowers into garlands together with Klee more. After all, all Dodokos long to long to ride the wind and waves on adventure. To get to Inazuma, one needs to pass through the wild winds, pass over the great waves, and endure the terrifying trials of the thunderstorms. But Dodoko did not fear the howling winds, for that was the blessing of the animal Archon. Dodoko did not worry about the rolling waves either, for it was very brave. As for the blooming, crashing thunder, eh -heh! well, calmly facing all the challenges that cross their path is the way of the Dodoko clan. Of course, Dodoko didn't want Klee to have to brave such dangers, but as best as friends, oh, <laughs> oh, they were bound to protect each other. And Dodoko didn't want to be apart from Klee anyways. Without Klee, adventures, like, adventures would be like sweet flowers that cannot bloom, lonely and sad things. Even if Doyoko were to discover every inch of Tabat by land or sea, it would be meaningless. So there was no point hesitating. Doyoko and its best friend Klee were off on an adventure. And they rode on a boat? They wouldn't be able to fly freely in... Oh, if they rode on, the, on a boat, they wouldn't be able to fly freely in the sky or swim happily in the sea. But they'd have Klee's smile and Albedo's stories. And that was a good trade. This is cute. In Inazuma, the nation of lightning, the flowers and grasses are all purple, and the fish and birds are also purple. Everything is purple. <laughs> Albedo would probably run out of purple paint trying to paint it all. Unfortunately, he couldn't be around to draw with Klee and Dodoko. Albedo was an adult, after all, and sometimes adults have to do adult things. Unfortunately, Dodoko still had Klee. Oh, fortunately, Dodoko still had Klee. Klee would often find happy things to do as long as Dodoko was with Klee, and Dodoko would never be bored. Klee also had a lot of friends in Inazuma, like Miss Honorary Knight, Paimon, and Yoimiya. And so they all joined Dodoko for the most fun adventure ever in Inazuma. Hooray for adventure! Miss Honorary Knight took Dodoko up to the tall, tall Mount Yogu, where they saw, where they got the where, when they got to the sacred sakura, they were so tired from all the climbing that they fell asleep. 
And when they woke up, everyone had grown wings like a tengu. Klee's wings were red. Oh my goodness. Yoimiya's were gold. And Miss Honoré Knight's were blue. Oh, As for Paimon, Paimon can fly without wings. So Paimon didn't grow any. <laughs> everyone opened their wings up, causing a huge gust of wind to roll forth. Shoo! And the shrine maiden's hair was all messed up. Oh no, she looked angry. Better one, quick! Ah, adventure was truly fun. But with a growl, Klee's stomach started to call, started calling out. Oh no, how could they have forgotten? Eating is, is an important part of adventuring too. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> this is cute. And so everyone ate their own nigiri they brought along, and they all had a great time. Doroko and Paimon finished their share very quickly. And as the very, very tall Doroko look, looked Klee's smile, it couldn't help but think. Mini Klee and the others is the most happy, hap happiest thing that has ever happened to Doroko. Oh, oh my heart! Oh. <laughs> this is too cute! This is too much cuteness! Oh yes, if you're reading this, you too are surely part of this big adventure. Oh! Adventuring together, laughing together, enjoying good food together. If you experience this together with everyone, then you must be their good friend. In which case, you're invited to join me as fireworks show as well. Oh! Ah, this is adorable! Well, everyone was happily watching the fireworks, Yoimiya said. As long as our imaginations don't run dry, our mind will be freer than all the others. And Klee buttered out, we'll always be best friends. See, Dodoko was so happy to be together with its good friends. And now you are Dodoko's good friends too. So you too should go on an adventure with your friends. Ah, this is so cute! Included Paimon. This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Co. This story is me and your Mia's gift for Miss Honorary Knight. Oh, I get the reading. Everybody. I wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. Mm. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Yep. Oh, are you sure? I mean, it's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> it's her mama's book! Oh, <laughs> my heart! <gasps> hey, that's mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat travel guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it, a joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Oh, this is so cute. Uh, Paimon knew it. Miko would never do anything for free. Absolutely, man. <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book. It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together. Oh, my heart! I can't take this! This is too much sweetness! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I came. The Iridori Festival is the best! I hope you get a copy so your mom sees it. Oh! Let's go, Dodoko. Oh! Message from the editor. Let's go, Dodoko is combined with the work of an or older girl and a younger girl. Every chapter brims with their gentleness and good wishes as the story is intended as a gift to our readers. Oh! I hope this book, in spite of its small volume, can bring you some simple joy after a long day of work. It's so cute! I love it! Oh! Now we can pull! Scenery is yes! 
Nothing. It's worth it. Wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. <laughs>